Make way for the double champ. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from West Newbury, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 251 pounds, the WWE Champion, John Cena! Only a small handful of WWE superstars have held two championships simultaneously, and this man now joins their ranks. Yeah, it's an honor no matter how long you hold both titles, but the reality is most double champions lose at least one title before long. This man is determined to be the exception rather than the rule. You talk about standing at the top of the mountain, this guy is at the peak of Mount Everest. Indeed, it is going to take a monumental effort to take either one of this guy's titles. Guess what, folks? It's time to acknowledge the Tribal Chief. And representing the Bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds. The WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns! When you see a superstar like Roman Reigns, you see a man who seems practically untouchable. Exactly, Saxton, like a god, an immortal. He's achieved things that most only dream of, just piles of championships. He made the long climb up the mountain and shoved everybody else off of it. By the looks of things, Roman Reigns is ready to continue his unparalleled domination. Make way for the double champ. And from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, the WWE Universal Champion, Brock Lesnar. Imagine all the hard work, the training, and the perseverance it takes to win a title in WWE. Now double it, and you can see the magnitude of this man's accomplishment. In WWE, the only thing more difficult than becoming champion is staying champion. And his journey was twice yeah. as hard, but the work from here is double too. But if anyone is up to the challenge, it's this guy. You talk about standing at the top of the mountain, this guy is at the peak of Mount Everest. Indeed, it is going to take a monumental effort to take either one of this guy's titles. The Apex Predator has arrived. One of the all-time greats has seen and done everything there is to do in this and business. From St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Viper, Randy Orton. The definition of a WWE superstar, and in my opinion, there is no one as gifted in this game as Orton. Now, Corey, I agree. Legendary factions, all-time tag teams, but Randy Orton is best when he does some solo work. And when he's doing said solo work, Randy Orton is one of the most sadistic individuals the WWE has ever known.
The more hostile the environment, the more at home Randy Orton seems to be. One of the most methodical superstars in WWE. Every step he takes serves a purpose. Yeah, Randy Orton is always thinking inside that ring and provides no reprieve from the gruesome attacks that he creates. Always a threat with the three most dangerous letters in all of sports entertainment, R-K-O. The title collector is here. And from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, The Rock! Imagine all the hard work, the training, and the perseverance it takes to win a title in WWE. Now double it, and you can see the magnitude of this man's accomplishment. In WWE, the only thing more difficult than becoming champion is staying champion. And his journey was twice as hard, but the work from here is double too. But if anyone is up to the challenge, it's this guy. You talk about standing at the top of the mountain, this guy is at the peak of Mount Everest. Indeed, it is going to take a monumental effort to take either one of this guy's titles. Here comes the Hall of Fame Fina the most intimidating and imposing competitor in WWE history. And one of the most awe-inspiring entrances in all of sports entertainment. And from Death Valley, weighing in at 309 pounds, one half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, the The WWE Universe standing in reverence. No one embodies human suffering and inescapable peril more. Yeah, this isn't make-believe. It's like having real horror among us. A being who wields unspeakable power and transcends space and time. A dark fog envelops our arena. And the creatures of the night are upon us. Entering the hollowed ground of WWE's Hall of Fame just made the Phenom stronger. Think of the incredible resume of The Undertaker. Won the Royal Rumble, conquered Hell in a Cell, and won 21 consecutive WrestleMania matches. Arguably the most incredible competitor in WWE history, and the decades of destruction continue. The wrath of the Reaper annihilates your body and your soul. Impossible to prepare for, unfeasible to predict. Every step the Phenom takes, you're one step closer to your demise. It is a grave mistake to assume that you will survive.
Here we finally have a match that can settle the score. No disqualification match. Win by pinball or submission. But anything goes in this title match as well. These superstars didn't want the rule book to restrict them. Didn't want anything holding them back.
Anderson carry this far. The tides have swung in multiple directions. It's anyone's guess how this one's going to end.
elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. some of the action from the previous match. Here is your winner, The Rock! And this victory is one for the record books. 
He was as on top of things as he could possibly be here tonight, and look how it paid off.